So caffeine addiction. Wow, that's one we haven't talked about yet. When I was younger, at the age of like, I don't know, nine, the corner convenience store started putting RC soda on sale for a dollar for two liter, which is an awesome deal when you're looking at a family that has four boys and is trying to save as much money as possible. They want to supply something tasty to their kids. That's what my family did. We went and got a dollar, two liter, practically every day, uh, if not more often than that. And then on top of it, whenever I was at friend's house just drinking soda, um, I had relatively high caffeine intake for a small child. And that carried over into my, uh, my teenage years. And then eventually I went from RC Cola, because we moved, uh, to Red Bull. <laughs> now Red Bull, there's, there's some caffeine for you. Uh, not only is it good, but it's, it's, it's high in caffeine, and it gets you going. And I remember when my hands used to shake when I would drink a lot of it, uh, you know, a can or two, and get myself there. Uh, I moved on to Rockstar eventually because I like their drinks, and from there it went into straight up uh, caffeine pills because uh, I, I work in fast food and you gotta move, and I needed that boost, and that was the game. Uh, at one point, I had seen a doctor about something and she asked if there was any other problems. I said, I get a lot of headaches. And she says, well, do you ingest a lot of caffeine? And I said, yeah, I do. And she goes, well, what do you, what do you, what do you take to, how, how much, what do you, what kind of drinks do you drink? And I said, lots of coffee. And if I don't drink the coffee, I get really big headaches. So I'm sort of like addicted to caffeine, if you ask me. And she's like, I don't think you're addicted to caffeine. She's like, I, I think the reality is uh, what you do when you drink that caffeine is you ingest it in in a coffee form, right? And I said, yeah, of course. She goes, well, what do you replace when you're not drinking coffee? And I said, uh, well, nothing. I, I just, she goes, that's your problem. It's a hydration issue. In most cases, when it comes to caffeine, when you don't have your fix, uh, you will be sluggish, yes, but if you don't ingest the amount of high, uh, you know, water that you would with coffee, uh, that's where the headaches kick in. Headaches are most commonly caused by dehydration. And then when Starbucks doesn't tell you that, you know, you need to find that out for yourself. I didn't believe this doctor when she told me this thing, and I just was like, whatever, you're crazy. Now, I ingest caffeine pills myself every day. 200 milligrams usually, sometimes 400, depending if I really need a really good boost. Uh, today it was 200. If I stopped tomorrow taking these caffeine pills, but continued to ingest the same amount of liquids that I always do, zero headaches at all. So I'm living proof of this as being a reality. So for those of you out there that are like really big avid coffee drinkers, be sure to ingest the same amount of fluids every single day as you normally would uh, without the coffee and see where it gets you. You'll be sluggish, I promise you, you'll be sluggish at least for a while until your body kind of gets, you know, until you get used to that pace again. But the reality is you need to hydrate yourself and that's where the headaches come from. My name is Tommy, I'm everybody's big bro, and no matter what happens, do not forget to dance.